Hey, hello everybody and welcome back. This is Kelly Weiler here at Girl Upcycled Studio. I am an artist who lives in Zanesville, Ohio, and I am the owner of a very, very special art membership group where I teach online every Tuesday at 6 p.m. And we always welcome new members. So um, if you like to dive into that intuitive style painting and learn techniques and all that good stuff, if you're passionate about painting, then the Creators Club is a place that you are going to want to be and you are going to absolutely love the community and the members there. Um, say hello when you come rolling in. I was trying to get on here by five and I had some always techie things happen to me, right? Seems to be the going right now. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay. Hello, my Michelle. How are you? It's good to see your face. Um, I am going to paint yet again another hummingbird. I'm just slightly obsessed with that and with slightly another obsession that I have, which are sunflowers. So um, I don't really see hummingbirds painted with sunflowers very often. So I thought that would be fun to incorporate them so that we kind of pull the hummingbirds into the, the fall season as well. So hi, Miss Stacy, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so what I'm gonna paint on, this is a, let's see, I think it's 11 by 14, I wanna say, screen. And it's nine by 14, I believe. So let me show you. It's a screen. So this is a screen just like you would have on a window or a door. And I started painting on these just, I don't know, out of a fluke, really. I don't even know how I got started on these. But the more that I learned about the history of this, the more I became interested in it. And it's just a really fun way of painting. It's not, I usually am, can kind of start it and finish within like, uh, an hour or two. So it's really fun to do on the lives with all of you because I can kind of get in and get out and have a, a nice little um, painting that I can do start to finish with you. Um, in the Creators Club, we dive in pretty deep and we do some uh, a little um, a little more of the um, deeper techniques, I guess, with painting with tools and color mixing and all the things inside there. But I do keep it a little bit lighter here on my public page um, just to kind of sh give you a little kind of a taste of what it is that we do in there sometimes. Um, I have already chopped this out. Like again, I said it's on screen. And so you just do, I don't spend a lot of time chalking out, you guys. I just did a quick chalk out of how I wanted to do this. And um, really, I want to dive in. I've got some of the newer paints that I want to try. Um, the brand new DIY paints are called Painterly, and they're really, really bright. If you can see here. So this is a really good sample of the colors. Um, they're going to come in different tubes. The tubes that they come in are beautiful. Um, so you'll want to you'll want to um, make sure you try these. They're thicker. They're a little bit thicker than the clay based paint, which I found very interesting. And so I thought the hummingbird would be great to do with the new paint. So that's why I pulled those out. So I'm going to go ahead and just lightly sketch out real quick. Um, with a little bit lighter color, I think I'm going to use. Um, who do I have here and where are you coming in from, everybody? Um, let's see. Stacy's here. Renee's here. Deborah's here. Hello, hello. Um, well, they are, they're a bit, it's thicker than a gouache. So they do reactivate. Yeah. Yes, they are. They're very thick. Um, okay, this is actually um, kind of a, a new mix of paint that Debbie formulated. Um, and so it's kind of fun to play with and I can't wait till they get, until they arrive. They will be here um, late October at the latest. Um, I am taking early 
um, pre-orders for those of you that want to get in and try them first. I do have those available. Um, so, and I will be carrying that in here. So something else I want to talk about today. I've been getting a lot of questions about the difference between painterly versus the Bohemian Brights. Because as you can see, the painterly paints are, are really, really bright, right? They're very highly pigmented, um, as well as the Bohemian Brights. So I want to talk to you about the differences. And if I can, I'll try to use both in this painting if I'm able to, um, so that you can kind of see the difference. But the Bohemian Brights are... the it is like a glaze, okay? So it's transparent. So that means it, it has a high pigment um, punch to it, but it also has some transparency, um, which is really, really fun for layering when you really wanna see some of the, the um, movements, the marks on the undertone, on the underpainting, which I'm not gonna do an underpainting on this because I have screen. However, um, I may go over top of some color with the Bohemian Brights, just so you can see the difference. Um, what it does, it just kind of changes the tone um, of an existing color that you have on your canvas, okay? So it's transparent. The painterly paints are opaque, okay? They are opaque, they are extremely thick, and you are not going to see through this. When you paint it on, it's going to, the coverage is really, really thick. Um, so I would imagine you would be able to thin it down probably with water. Um, it's still not going to have the transparency that your Bohemian Brights would have. So there is a time and a place for all of these products. So um, think about what you do and your artwork and think about if you want texture, if you want it smooth, think about all these different things that you're looking for um, in your artwork, okay? And that'll kind of help you decide which products to use. All right, I'm gonna grab my water here and I'm just gonna grab little bit of white and a little bit of, I think it's farm fresh is what I've got on here. And I'm going to just sketch this out lightly so you can see it a little. Well, I think you could see it pretty well though, can't you? Um, I'm just going to do a real quick sketch just so that you can kind of see this pretty pretty well. And I think I will take this all the way down as I always like to do. I love painting on the frames of, of the um, screens that I paint. Okay. Tell me where you're all coming in from. Tell me if you are viewing from Facebook or are you viewing from over on YouTube? Because I am broadcasting and both places right now. Absolutely love my YouTube people as well. I know I'm probably on Facebook a little bit more um, just because that's where I usually do the live stuff. But you know what? We can go live on YouTube now, so why not, right? <laughs> so here's kind of my outline of my bird. Um, hi, Patty and Patience. How are you? Bobby's in the house. Hello, hello. All right. I'm going to come up here. How are you? And again, I'm going to take this over. Boom, boom, boom. Sound effects are good. Always good, right? They always make you paint better when you have your sound effects. I always say, okay, there's that one. And it will be like, 
I don't want to like spend, I do not like to spend too much time with this process. With the outlining process, but I do want to get it on there so you can see it real well. So I'm going to do one there and let's do like maybe another one like down here. It's going to be a sunflowers and and maybe we'll take this one around that way and then I might have like, I don't know, maybe another one like maybe right here or something. I don't know. I'll, I can decide that later. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in my mind. So I'm just kind of scribbling out just a quick little um, setup here of the, just a little quick composition. <clears throat> if I was doing it over, I probably wouldn't have him quite so much in the middle, but it's, it'll be all right. <laughs> Maybe we can work his feathers out so it brings him so it shoves him off to the side a little bit so he's not quite so smack dab in the middle but anyway that kind of gives us a good way to go hi miss melissa how are you oh hi patty gosh a lot of the ladies that were at the retreat are live with us today ladies how are y'all doing um are you all just doing some amazing things since the retreat. I, I absolutely hope so. Um, that is what those retreats are for. And I can't wait to see you all at the next one. I hope I see you all very soon. Um, Melissa's in Pennsylvania. Deborah's in Florida. My friend Jennifer, she's in Gen she is in Ohio here. Jennifer is where the, we have SOAR. So we have that retreat at the, in the, springtime. My friend Susan is here. Hello, hello. How are you? All right, so let's see if we can. Do, 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 do. Let's do a solo layout here. Is that better? Can y'all still hear me? Okay. Let's see. Live viewer comments show up. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, let me blow this up so I can see it a little bit better. Are you able to see it okay? And is there anything at the bottom of the screen? I hope that there's not. I'm not able to see your comments now though. Yes, okay. Yes, there is something at the bottom of the screen. Let me see if I can remove that. Um, here we go. Let's put this up here and let's see if I can remove that. There we go. So if you're wondering on the bottom of the screen, I just added a little link about the creators club. It says it opens soon. I lied. It's actually open if you want to come in. All right. So there's that. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to just do some quick some greens, got some aviary. Let's do that first. I still cannot see your comments. Hold on one second. There we go. Okay, it's better. StreamYard has a banner. Okay, is the banner gone? I hope it is. I don't know why that was like that. All right, so I'm going to just do a quick let me go back over kind of what I just did. Now on the screens, I have to do pretty thick layers, which is why I'm excited about the new paint here. I'm using the um, brushes from the Turquoise Iris line. Um, this is the Pro Round that I'm using. Um, and I'll probably switch. I, I use a lot of the um, larger brushes normally. So we'll see how that goes. Um, right now I have just a piece of wood that I threw back behind just so that you can see the painting better because it is screen. 
And if I did not have anything back behind it, you would not be able to really see it very well. It's gone. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think they are maybe doing some new things there. So, okay, it's just... Okay, now let's go ahead and see what yellows we have. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to go ahead. What I like to do is build. I would love to have clean B and cake batter, maybe. Um, let's pull that out. The DIY paints also are really, really nice for painting with a knife and also if you're painting on screen, um, it's, it's pretty nice for that as well. So it does give you a bit of a thicker application. So Throw in the middle. This one I'll make a little bit smaller back there. Okay, there's that. And that's going to be dark, don't worry. The middle of it's going to be darker. I just like to illuminate a little bit on that background. So <laughs> it gives it a little punch. Now you could go brighter on that if you wanted to. And I'm just pushing, letting that brush do its job. Don't overthink it. Now we wouldn't do that, would we? All right. Just like the petals, I added um, green to where the petals would be too, um, just to give it some a little bit of color on the undertone, the under part of the the painting. Okay. Is anybody else painting today? No, I can't be the only one. I really need to be editing videos today, which I'm going to do when I get off of here. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Um, let's see. I think I'll let that dry for just a minute. Yes, yeah, Stacy's painting. Susan's working on her buffet. What color's your buffet? So curious and what are you painting Stacy Rashwanda watercolors awesome I love watercolors I love 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 it I'm gonna take a little bit of actually I've got it so thinned down I don't want to I kind of want to use my cherry picked color, but I have accidentally added way too much water. Can you hear it? Way too much water. I think it's going to be too thin for me to use here. So let me rethink this. Um, -dum -ba -dum. Let me. Let me rethink this. I'm going to do some boho. Let's do some boho. And let's see, I'm just going to add a, a tiny punch of one of the new colors in. I'm almost finished a figurative, but I've moved to an intuitive. Oh, good stuff, girly. It's good stuff. 
Okay. This is one of the new ones and I don't have the names memorized yet. So it is like the purpley one. So I just mixed it into my, my boho. It may not be dry enough. That's the only thing you got to think about when you are painting this fast is you kind of don't have time for everything to dry. So that yellow is a little bit wet still and I don't I don't want to muddy my colors up too much, so I'm not going to go overboard with mixing it, blending it. Does that make sense? What are we going to be doing tomorrow night? Well, I'm debating on whether starting a new one versus working on the intuitive from last week because we have new members that we're kind of wanting to see that all the way through. And since I have not made it on a live, like sometimes I do on my public page to finish it, I thought maybe I would go live and work on it tomorrow some more. So, so that's what we've got planned. All right. Um, let me go ahead and start on the bird and I'm just going to let this dry just for a little bit here while I work on this little bird and let's do, let's see, let's see what I want to use here. I want to use some of these newer colors, so let's just do that. So these are two of the new colors and I do not have them memorized ladies if you are on here and you have memorized the painterly paints <laughs> you can tell everybody what colors these are this is the darker turquoise and then I have the lighter one here so I'm going to start with those for right now Love how thick this stuff is, you guys. So again, you can just upside down. Stacy, I saw that you have the whole set ordered. It's amazing. All right. So, yeah. That'll be pretty fun. And I do like to add a lot of different colors to my birds. Oh, this stuff's going to be so fun to use with a knife, you guys. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm actually trying to be kind of sparing with it right now because I just have the samples in. So I want to be able to incorporated into some of my stuff but look how pretty and bright that is I love that and yeah I'm sure you can I'm sure you can uh, thin that down too but I kind of don't want to right now <laughs> Dreamville and Peacemaker. Yes, I love it. I love the names that she comes up with. They resonate with me too. All right. So good, right? I'm going to go real light with this. So with, when you're painting on screen like this, you kind of don't want to be too forceful. 
Hello, Newcastle. Hello, Cam. Look at that. Pretty bright, right? Love. Love, love, love. So you don't want to be too um, forceful with it, really. Let's see. Let's do... I'm going to grab a little bit of water lily. Water, water lily is just a beautiful... Oh, darn. It's a beautiful periwinkle. Maybe out of it here. Let's see. We should have checked that. Okay. Oh my goodness, all my colors dried up when I was away. Here we go, we're back on track. Very cool. You're from Florida. <laughs> Add a little of the white in that as well. Give it the illusion that it is sky or whatever. Just painting kind of in between all the all of the flowers and everything. Right. Just kind of gives it a chance to let everything dry a little bit. Um, Stacy says, my husband was listening to me get all excited when I described them and he sat there and immediately zelled the entire amount into my checking account to order them. I cried, zelled. What's zelled? Is that something new? Zelled. He is a keeper. He is pretty pretty good to you, huh? It's pretty nice when your husbands support your your missions that you have, right? Um is this to be hung in a window? So, okay, so here's the story that I think is kind of cool. Um back in the day, went before air conditioning. That used to be a thing, right? <laughs> um, they used to hire local artists to come in and paint their screens to their windows, like to their, um, you know, the screens on their windows and on their screen doors so that they could have extra privacy and still have their windows open. And so it would just kind of diffuse the images a little bit is what it would do. And so I just thought that was, I just think that's kind of kind of a cool, the history of it. I, I just didn't realize that that was even a thing. So I thought that was kind of cool. And it's actually kind of pretty from the background too. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. Um, ladies, I am going to try my hardest on Mondays to come live and I will just be painting using products that I either use or sell and or sell. Um, sometimes I may be doing like furniture painting. Um, it's not really going to, I'm not going to say it's going to be a class per se. Um, all of my classes I teach inside the Creators Club. Um, but it does get give you a chance to kind of see the process and just hopefully encourage you to grab your paints and 
do some things to your, you know, for yourself. So this is what I would consider my underpainting. This so far is what the back is looking like. So it's kind of abstract, but I do think it's kind of cool. Um, Zelle is an online bank transfer. My goodness, it's cool. All right, so there's that. So now I've worked all around and I feel like I can go back to the bird. I feel like the, um, the petals on the flowers are still just a little bit thick. So I don't want to do that yet. So I'm going to want to just move right along here. And let's do, I don't know, let's, let's have some fun with this bird, I guess. Let's just try some different colors and see what happens, okay? Now I do have a little tiny knife that I'm going to be using that I need to clean off. Give me one second. This is like a fluorescent pink, so it's kind of cool. Let's see what I want to do this. So I'm just going to kind of tap this in a little bit. This is the color that I used when I did the flamingo for the promo uh, picture. The painting that I did for Debbie, I used this color quite a bit. It's beautiful. Again, you can find this on my on my website at girlupcycledstudio.com, and you can pre-order if you want to try this. Okay. So it's kind of a, it's called Painterly, and it is a new formula, really, that she's kind of worked with the company to create. Um, and what happened was she was watching all of us that are canvas artists, and she was watching us all paint using all these acrylics and she was trying to get the look and that we were getting with our acrylics and so then she went to some acrylics and she didn't care for that you know if you've worked with acrylics it does have a bit of a kind of a stickier kind of a feel right well this does not so this has just it's a it has a smooth feel but yet it's it's thicker So pretty, right? Let's see. But anyway, so she decided, you know, she would, you know, create, create something that she liked since she wasn't into the acrylics that much. So I think that's wonderful. Being proactive. It is. Susan says, it is a spectacular pink. Yes, I will hold this up to you so you can see it. That really cool, isn't it? Um, Kim says, I painted a very simple snow scene on screen and it sold right away last Christmas. It, it's as fun to do. Yours is much prettier than my perm. No, no, Kim. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sure, sure that yours was beautiful. So, but thank you. But no, you're not allowed to say bad things about your own work. <laughs> right? No, because it's all good. All right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and use, let's combine it with, do you want to 
go here yet. I think I'm going to keep it similar. Let's go to this orangey tone one. Ooh, so good. I think that this will be just like a little dabble do you kind of thing. I don't know that I want to go too crazy with this. Just a little touch. A little touch of this. It's more of an orangey tone. Get fluorescent. Oh, this is going to be so fun to do. To do like, um, for those of you that do sunsets and um, backlit kind of things, I think this color is really going to be nice for that. Right. And I'm kind of just going on in kind of close to where I've already done the pinks and adding it. Okay. All right. I'm just dying to use this paint on a screen. <laughs> Every time I do these hummingbirds too, people just love them. I think I need to do like a whole series. I'm not sure what I want it to. I want to do some kind of a, I don't know how, I don't know. I got to think about it, how I want to do it, but I need to do a whole series of hummingbirds. Cause I do enjoy painting them. It's kind of been a thing lately. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to go with this bright one. Oh, the purple one. I already used that one. Ooh, I have a little bit of boho in there. this. Might need to lighten that sky up a little bit. Hello. How are you, my friend? Nana's workshop in the house. Are y'all recouped from the big retreat? <laughs> that is Shannon. Who was also at the retreat. I just love her. Just, you guys, if you've never made it to a retreat, you really need to because you can, you can just really connect with people on this whole other level. It's just unbelievable. So I'm going to take this off of here so I can reach things a little bit better. Still in that peaceful feeling. Ah, makes me happy. good okay yeah we um at the retreat i taught um it was intuitive art with intention which is like an oxymoron right but we went into it knowing that we were going to paint a hummingbird however we had all of these just yummy yummy layers um, on our underpainting that we did and I got to talk to them a bit about the uh, the process of the intuitive painting and how they can use it in their art and really in their just as kind of kind of art therapy really um, in their everyday life and um, we just we just really had a great time and uh, I know I got a lot out of it from all the ladies and I sure hope they did too. It was amazing. And that was at the Courage on Canvas 
that I teach there. Um, that is Dion's retreat. And uh, she, she always has guest artists come in. And I was her guest artist for this one. And we just had a wonderful time. Wonderful, wonderful time. Yes, Melissa was there too. She says it was so wonderful and freeing. Yes, it was. Let me give you a little close up view. It almost to me looks like kind of abstract flowers inside inside that bird, doesn't it? I mean, it just I think it's really looking kind of cool. Um, I am wondering about changing that background a little bit. So let me see if, how that works for me. Let's see if I want to do that. So I want to brighten that up a little bit, maybe. See if I like it better. And if not, no worries, right? It's paint and we can just change things back if I so choose. But I do feel like I want to brighten things up a little bit around this little guy. Make him pop just a little bit more. And I do have to agree with you, Melissa. It was wonderful and freeing and just supportive and just all the things, right? Um, if you have not been to a retreat, why not? What's the worst that could happen is my thought. I think the worst that could happen is that, that you go in scared, right? Anything that's worth anything is doing it scared. I mean, in my humble opinion. Oops, I'm dragging some paint around that I didn't want to drag. So we're going to leave that right there. Had fun, even though I didn't paint the bird. I went rogue, but that's what it's about, Miss Patience. That is what it's about. The intuitive art process is always about you, the artist, listening to where you need to go. And you started out on, you know, going with everybody and, and, had, and then changed your route. And that is always, as an artist, what you should be doing. If you get that nudge, I say you get a little God whisper to, you know, do, do something, then you, that's where you need to go with it, right? There is never, I don't think there's never anything wrong with that. Oh yeah, I think that made that bird pop just a little bit more. I pushed, I pushed that, um, periwinkle a little bit lighter than my that is water lily and we can kind of go in and shape that a little bit if we want okay I'm liking that I'm liking it Okay. All right. Let's see. I think what? I think it's time that I go back on to the flowers now. So I'm just going to kind of work all around, work my way around the place and uh, go from there. Um, by the way, those of you that are watching, let's see. If you type in the word subscribe, um, at least if you're on Facebook and you type in subscribe, it will automatically notify you when I go live. Um, and like I said, I'm going to really try once a week to go live on my public page as well. 
Um, I already go live every Tuesday inside the Creators Club. It's an online art membership group for those of you that want to really um, hone in on technique and you want to find your fingerprint, um, that is the place to go. Um, we dive in deep on different techniques and uh, we show up every week and paint together there. So, but I will be here on Mondays showing you different products that I use and that I sell inside my studio here. So if you would like to come together for that on Mondays, you can just type in subscribe and you should get a notification that I'm live. Technology can be a great thing when it works, right ladies? <laughs> I think you all know what I mean by that. When it works. It is wonderful. Okay, so I have, so far I have used Queen Bee on that. And let's see, I think, let me go with Queen Bee again. And I'm going to, let's see, I don't know if that's a little bit too fluorescent. I'm going to add a little bit into the queen bee. I don't know if it'll work. I'm just going to see what happens. If it gives it a little bit of a pop. It will definitely thicken it up. Well, hey, Miss Carol. How are you? Did you just tune in? Carol was at the at the retreat as well. I have a new friend. We went to dinner together, didn't we, Carol? Oh yeah, I think that's Ooh, yeah, I think that's good. So what I did here is I just mixed in some of that new painterly. This is the fluorescent yellow. And I mixed it in with a little bit of Queen Bee just to like push it. It's pushing that color. And it's also acting as a thickening agent for me, which is kind of cool. So I don't know that, don't know that Debbie was going for that, but um, hey, you know what? It's working. It is working for me, so. I'll show you how thick it is here in a second. You can probably tell as I'm painting it. Um, those of you that are, if you're local, do I have anybody that's local watching? Maybe not. Um, the first Friday in October, I am the featured artist for Art Cause, and I talked to my sister about that, and we both decided we was going to do a little giveaway for that. So if you're local and you want to get in on our giveaway, we'll have that um, here locally. You, have, you don't have to be present to win, but you do have to be present to sign up. And my sister's going to give away one of her mirrored heart necklaces. And I have a coneflower painting I'm going to give away. And then we may do some other giveaways too. I don't know. Depends on what I get done between now and then. So that'll be the first Friday in October between 5 and 8 is when you have to have your your entries in. Oh, I'm loving this, gang. It's good. So if you're local, come on in. Let's see what else is going on. 
we have November. We're going to have like uh, different artists here for the first Friday in November. That's going to be our holiday open house, kicking off the holidays. And we will have vendors over next door in the event space. I will be featuring a new artist that, I, not new artist, he's been doing this for a while, but new to me, and it's called Morgan's Garage. And he is an artist and he welds motorcycle parts into art. And it's amazing, like sculptural kind of type thing. And it's really, really cool stuff. So I'm really excited. To have him here. We'll have um, designs by Lori. She'll be back. She does, uh, she is a silversmith and a leathersmith, and she has some beautiful work that she always does. It's designs by Lori. Happy Flat will be here. I talked to her, and she does. She upcycles like broken glass, broken pottery pieces and makes art like mosaic art out of it. And her items are so, so sweet. And I'm so happy she's gonna be back here. So we're adding more on the list all the time. I'm gonna have live music that night. Mike Holly will be here doing some acoustic guitar and singing that is in November the first Friday in November so um, remember us during during the gallery hop it's a really really great time to come out so okay I'm going to take just a quick second and I want to lay this down for you so you can kind of see how thick this is you see how thick the that new paint is and I did mix that in with DIY Queen Bee and I think I will go in and just add some touches full strength now just to give it even a little extra pop um, Judy Hogan says it's fun to just come and hang out with you and Christy thank you we love having you here Actually, Judy sat up here one time, didn't you? Sat up here with us. Sold some pieces. Did good. She did good, good, good. Yeah, so we're just doing little touches here and there with this fluorescent. Just get a little, a little punch. Bobby did as well. So proud. They are Creators Club members. And so I have been just like watching them flourish and grow and just do some amazing things. And I just couldn't be happier. Oh yeah, that's good, right? Okay. The little bird needs some work still. But what I want to do now, because we're coming up on an hour, and I'm going to try to keep it within an hour. You're welcome, Judy. Thank you for showing up and putting, you're the one that's doing the hard work, my friend. You do. You show up and you put your passion into motion and you are just creating some beautiful beautiful pieces and i'm so proud of you all, everything's just coming together all your work look how this is so here's my hand behind it so you can see why back in the day they would have had people paint on their screens to help give them a little bit of privacy See how it kind of distorts the background. So that's that. And then I want to show you, this is what the other side looks like. And I think that's pretty cool as well. 
I mean, I, I do love kind of abstract things anyway. So it's very abstract and colorful and movement. I, I think it's really cool. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on the middle of the flower. It's still quite, um, still pretty darn wet. So I'm going to be careful and I'm going to grab this uh, cobalt blue here. Actually, it's not cobalt blue. It's more like an elect. It, this one's called Electra. Jennifer, are you still here? Electra something. But it's kind of like the, an electric blue is I'm sure why she's calling it that. But it's, I think this is my favorite. So I'm going to go in with this and just add these little pops inside this middle of this flower um stacy says i bought bobby's beautiful footstool when they were there i know so good right so good oh a little ladder well you know, whatever you use it for, it's. I know, right? So pretty. I know, you guys. So good, right? Yummy. So you can kind of see why I put the brighter color under it now. I put that brighter yellow under it. Just, I think it helps it pop kind of pops forward when you do like the opposite color under it it helps push it helps show off the colors that are on top of it if that makes sense at all use it as a plant stand says Stacy yeah that would be a perfect plant stand a little ladder okay so there's that and then I was thinking about maybe You'll add a little of this purpley tone in, in here as well. Let's see. I think I added it before, but it kind of got kind of muddied up on me. So I'm going to go over top of that and just reapply it just so it it's going to pull some of the colors from that bird into it as well. all right it is pretty wet and so what i'm gonna do because we are at we're about out an hour now so i'm gonna give you let me put this here give you a close-up of this if i can figure out how to straighten it on my here we go Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm going to let this dry. These colors are extremely thick. If I lay it this way, you will see how thick it is. You see that? How thick the layers are. And so I want to really just let this dry before I do anything further. So just my next moves, I will put in any last details on the bird, um, do some little, you know, put the eyes in, I'll finish the, the sides up with the greenery, maybe some leaves, but I will definitely post the picture um, when I'm finished. And if you're on YouTube, I will post the finish picture as the thumbnail so that you can see the whole thing completed. I normally stain the wood when I get done just because there's so much color going on here. I think that just a solid wood finish is kind of complementary to it is why I do that. So are there any other questions? And again, um, thank you for hanging out. Um, my studio is located in Zanesville, Ohio. Um, let me, let me see if I can 
pop in here. Hmm. Let me see if it'll let me pop up here. Exit. There we go. Okay. So my studio is located in Zanesville, Ohio. And uh, you can find everything at girlupcycledstudio.com. And if you're interested in really honing in and finding your very own artistic fingerprint, we would love to have you inside the Creators Club. Um, you can find more information on that on my website at girlupcycledstudio.com. Carol, I know you were asking me about it, and I am getting another payment method set up for you. So that's coming too. Um, so I will have all kinds of payment options for you. It is a monthly subscription. I teach every Tuesday in there. Um, we do, a, we cover a lot of ground, um, but it is a wonderful, wonderful community and we welcome all of you. I hope you enjoyed today's live um, and remember, if you want to uh, be, get a reminder, you just type in subscribe and you'll get a reminder when I go live. And hopefully I will see you next Monday. Okay. Hi, Miss Julie Ann. You're in Mexico right now. Good for you, girly. Um, next Monday, I'm going to be live, hopefully five o'clock again. So we'll see you there. All right. Thank you, everybody. And good night.